Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Tian and you can also call me Luna. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys about my experience, some advice and what to expect when entering medical school. I will also be talking about the transition between high school to college and then to medical school. So for your information, I'm currently a third year medical student from International Medical University, aka I'm you. So yes, it's a private medical school. So there will be some difference in terms of the entrance requirements and dates as compared to local medical public universities like UM or UKM. So I will be only talking about private medical universities in more specific IMU. First off, high school. I would just like to say it doesn't really matter which high school you go to whether it be home school, private school, Dutong or SMK, you will have equal chance of entering med school. What matters is that you pick the right stream that you want to go to, such as science stream for SMK students like me, and you pass all your exams so that you at least get a place in college. Besides all that, what really matters in high school is basically just enjoy your journey of learning and have fun because you won't have the time to have as much fun when you reach med school, trust me. So moving on, for me, high school is all about having fun and doing what I like, basically up until form four, because that's when I realized that I actually need a decent result to get into college. I know that some of you already have your future planned out by then, like I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna do A-levels, I'm gonna get like straight A stars, so that I can apply for medicine, law, or engineering. But what I like to say is that just relax, enjoy your studies, and basically keep your options open because you never know that maybe one day you suddenly have a passion for something else. And the last thing that we want is to do something that you do not enjoy for the rest of your life especially in medicine because it's really really years of hard work and commitment so back to what i was saying after high school it will then be college so the time transitioning between high school to college it's really the best time for you to actually think about what you want to do or where do you want to pursue your studies, whether it be local or overseas. It matters because some overseas universities only accept certain qualifications like A-levels and etc etc. For me, I was pretty clueless, but I know I will do something science related. That's why I chose the science stream for A-levels, like the four subject combo which is bio, chemistry, maths and uh, physics but um, you would also qualify to go into med school even if you pick three subjects it really doesn't matter so yeah as every medical university have different entrance requirements for different courses you would also like to you know do some research on what are the minimum requirements for that university that you are interested to go into and make sure that you meet their minimum requirements with the course that you're taking. Also, one thing to bear in mind and I forgot to mention just now, you must be taking science related subjects, especially biology and maths in order to qualify to apply. So the question is, how do I know what I want to do? My advice would be talking to someone who is currently working in that field or trying it out. For example, in medicine, it's always good to talk to at least one medical practitioner who is currently practicing and ask about their experience and what it's like to be working in this field and see if you're ready for that kind of lifestyle. It would be even better to go for hospital attachments if you can so that you can better understand how does a doctor work and basically know what to expect in this field. If you're unable to do any of those, it's alright, it's okay. Just remember to at least do some research online about the future prospects, the pathway of the course and the duration of study. 
because if you are someone who wants to be independent at a much earlier age, medicine would probably not be the best course for you because it is one of the most expensive course as well as the course with the longest duration out there. So doing the right research could potentially save you money and time. If you are someone who is interested to apply for a scholarship in a medical university, it would be nice to do some research on that as well, check out their minimum requirements and their qualifications accepted. Or you can just do well in A-levels and get straight A's. Works either way! Preparing for an interview, however, would be a different story. And I'll leave that for another day. Alright. Assuming that you've got straight A's for your pre-university courses and it's qualified to apply for medicine, it's time for the application. I'm not really sure the application process for overseas medical university and uh, public medical university, so I can only speak for private medical university. Different medical universities have a different intake. For example, Sunway Manesh, they have one intake which is February intake. And for Masa, they have two intakes which is April and September intake. However, for IMU, they only offer two intakes which is the February intake and the September intake. So you will need to make sure that you have the required documents by then for the application. Documents include high school results, pre-university results or, the mock, or their mock results, and English requirements such as IELTS or MUET. To apply, it's fairly easy. You can just apply from their university's website, or if you happen to live nearby, you can just pay a visit to that university itself, and I guarantee you that way would be much faster and more efficient. But judging by the current situation, PKD, PKPP, EMCO, MCO, Lockdown. Option 1, it's still much more safer and easier. Alright, so now you have chosen your university, done with the application, submitted your documents, it's time for the interview. Most medical universities would need you to go through at least one interview to see if you're really fit for the course. So usually they would arrange an interview about a week or two after your applications, at least for me. So during that one or two week time, it's good that you do some research about what are some of the commonly asked questions like why well, you want to be a doctor, what are the reasons that support your choices, this and that. Okay, I know that some of you will think like, I want to be myself, I don't want to memorize a scripted answer. And no, I'm not telling you to plan out your answers, but it's always good to have an idea about what you want to say and not blank out. You get what I mean? They would also ask about medical ethics questions. So it's important that you read up on the four pillars of medical ethics, which is autonomy, justice, beneficence and non-maleficence. Finally, now that you have passed the interview, accepted your offer letter and paid the registration fees, you are finally a medical student. From my experience, it truly has been an exciting journey where I find myself being more in love in what I do. I look forward to learning and gaining more experience so that one day I will be able to save a life or even pass on my knowledge. I hope my experience would be able to help some of you out there who are excited and passionate to become a doctor get a better glimpse of the whole journey from high school up until medical school. I personally feel it's very important for you to know why do you want to go to med school because I can say it's a bumpy journey and it really requires tons of hard work and effort. Yes, being smart can make things easier but what brings you further is hard work and consistent effort. So to end my video, I would just like to say all the best to those out there who will be applying for medical school. And if you want to see more of uh, medical related videos, please hit the subscribe button because I like to post more videos about me sharing my experience in school. And yeah, see you soon! Soon as I see you walk up in the club, I'ma flirt.
Winking eyes at me when I roll up on them dubs. I'm a 